Hello everyone, this is the Gameplay Goon here. I'm um, doing something a little different today. I'm doing a review of the Anet A3 3D printer. This is a fully assembled 3D printer, um, quite a low cost uh, machine, 255 pounds and 44 pence, including shipping. I'm um, shipping maybe different for you. Um, I'm in actually, I'm actually in the United Kingdom, so that's uh, the price I paid. Um, this is going to be a general overview of the printer. I won't be going into detailed specs, um, and I'm new to 3D printing, so I may get some things wrong um, in the video. But this is just a general overview um, if you're looking to buy a cheap. Um, assembled 3D printer. Um, here's a look at the, the packaging. Um, the printer was well packaged, um, no real complaints there. I'm actually using uh, my phone for all the recording, so apologies for the, for the bad quality. Um, I was actually a backer of the Tico Kickstarter project, uh, which failed. So this was sort of my, my backup plan. Um, I came across this this printer on Gearbest. I think there's one other review on YouTube, um, so I thought I would just do my own, own little review um, just to give you a, a general overview of the printer and, and my experience with it. Um, the initial setup was, was pretty straightforward. Um, I had a few hiccups. The, the manual that comes with the printer is on a USB thumb drive um, and it's just a, a translated uh, Chinese document so it's not the greatest uh, manual in the world but it's enough to, to sort of get you started. Um, I did have some issues leveling the print bed but uh, I got that sorted eventually. Um, this print here is actually um, the low poly Pikachu print you can find on Thingiverse. Um, print the 0.2mm layer height. Um, it did turn out really nice in the end. Um, I did do a uh, the Yoda bust from Thingiverse, which you'll see a bit later on in the video, which was uh, printed at 0.1 millimeter layer height, and I was really, really impressed um, with the quality that that came out of, um, especially for the price of the printer. Um, there are some other printers uh, at even lower price point that you can get. Um, the Mono Price is an example, but shipping is quite expensive for that printer, and it's also quite hard to get hold of at times, um, depending on the, the stock availability. Um, but this is a really good alternative if you're looking for um, a cheap 3D printer, especially if you're um, you was a backer of the, the Tico project. Um, that was something that I was really looking forward to receiving, but didn't come to fruition in the end. Um, so this is definitely a printer I would recommend. Um, there are obviously some risks from buying um, from from Gearbest. You know, if you have any problems um, for servicing, sending the printer back, that sort of stuff, um, you do have some risk. Um, but I, I'm I'm happy with the purchase, and I'll definitely recommend uh, for anyone uh, for a first-time printer. And the printer is quite noisy. Um, that would be one of my complaints, but. Um, it's not really an issue unless you're going to be in the room the whole time the printer's printing. Um, if you're going to be putting it in a separate room to you, it's not really that noisy. Um, it's only really if you're in if you're in the same room to the to the actual printer. Um, the menu system is pretty good, pretty okay. Um, you basically just have a, a dial um, knob on the front of the printer where you can adjust settings. Um, the bed leveling is pretty straightforward, um, no real problems there. Um, this is the Yoda bust um, being printed at the moment, 0.1mm layer height. Um, as I said before, the, the detail was, was pretty amazing. Um, I was really, really impressed uh, how it turned out. It did take, um, I think it was 9 hours in total to print, um, so there was a lot of... Um, <laughs> I became very impatient waiting for it to print, but it did turn out really, really nice. Um, so here's some here's some more pictures and video. So the printer uses 1.75 millimeter filament. Um, I purchased a 1 kg roll for I think it was about 30 pounds from Amazon. That's lasted quite well. Um, I went with white, as you can see. I'm quite I'm quite happy with that color. Uh, you'll see in some some later. Uh, later pictures that I also painted the models that that worked very well. I just used acrylic paint. Um, I didn't use any primer, um, which is probably advisable if you want more of a shiny, even finish. Um, but they still turned out really nice. 
Um, the menu system is pretty easy to navigate. You have some basic options um, that I'll get to a bit later on. There's some video um, that we'll see. Um, so again, this is the, this is the Yoda bust printing off. Um, I really could not believe the quality of this print. It did take a long time, admittedly, um, but the detail is absolutely amazing. Um, you cannot see any print lines in the model. Um, you can see amazing detail on the nose, on the ears, uh, wrinkles on the face. Um, on the bottom of the print, you do see print lines. Um, that could have been some settings um, that I didn't set correctly, or something maybe I'm doing wrong. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm sort of new to 3D printing, but here you'll see some, some more pictures, some up-close pictures of the Yoda bust. Um, I'm pretty blown away uh, by the quality. Um, and here we have some painted uh, models using acrylic paint. Um, turned out really nice. Um, and some video of the, the finished models. You can see the detail on the Yoda bust again is pretty amazing. Um, so I would definitely recommend um, this printer. Um, there is some risk involved, as I said earlier on, um, purchasing from overseas if you do have any problems. Um, so I would definitely, definitely bear that in mind. I waited uh, three weeks to receive the printer, so it was a quite a long wait time. You can choose um, express shipping. I'll put a link below to where you can purchase the printer. Um, if there's anything I haven't covered in the video, any questions, um, and if you have, feel free to message me. Um, I may be doing some some further videos on, on how to level the print bed, um, some more information on uh, the software that comes with the printer, um, which is Cura, uh, using the latest version of Cura, which is not included in the instructions, so I may make a video on how to do that. I'm pretty happy with the build quality of the printer. There is some movement when the printer is printing at maximum speed, but nothing uh, that has caused any problems. Hopefully this video has been helpful uh, to everyone. If I have made any mistakes, um, please leave a comment and I will try and put some annotations in the video. Here coming up is the menu system which I shall quickly run you through. In just a second. So we have the main screen um, where you have the bed temperature, uh, current temperature at the bottom and the temperature is heating to at the top. This is the nozzle temperature. You have the fan speed. You have the print time. The um, progress bar with a percentage of how long the print's taken. And you then have, uh, you can preheat for PLA for ABS. This is good for when leveling the bed. Here you can um, use the auto home and then level the print bed. Some additional controls for the nozzle temperature, bed temperature. You can disable the steppers so you can move the gear system around. And some more configurations. I'm not really sure what some of this stuff does. I haven't needed to use it yet. And then, of course, you have the print from SD. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.